Welcome back to my channel. My name is Sally and for those who don't know me, I've been plant-based for over 10 years. Well, in those 10 years, I have come up with different recipes and today I'm really excited about what I'm gonna share with you today. It's a beverage that I drink almost every morning and I'm gonna show you how to use matcha green tea. So let's go ahead and get started. You're gonna need some ice cubes and about half a cup of fresh blueberries, a mortar and pestle, and then we're gonna need a plant milk of your choice, a chasen whisk, some matcha green tea powder. So we're gonna start off putting our blueberries in our mortar and pestle, and then I'm gonna go ahead and put some pure maple syrup in there and just smash that for a, just a fresh puree for the drink. Just do the best that you can to get it a nice liquidy consistency and just keep working on it. Now you're gonna go ahead and grab your green tea powder, your Japanese ceremonial grade is what we're gonna use for the nice vibrant color. I'm going with probably a good one and a half tablespoons. And now I'm going to add hot water to the powder. And I'm going to use a Japanese tea whisk, which is called a chasen. And I'm going to go in a Z pattern back and forth until the green is dissolved and froth is formed. And don't worry if you're not great at it. It takes practice. You're just going to go Z back and forth. Now we will start assembling our drink. So ice cubes go with the first layer. Our second layer will be our blueberry puree with our organic pure syrup. I just keep dishing that right in there. In our next layer, we're gonna go ahead and add our milk of choice. I'm gonna add plant milk. I'm using a soy plant bill. Next, we are going to go ahead and add our green tea layer, which is our matcha green tea. That beautiful color in there. That's what's fun about making this is the layering, the colors that you see. That's why it's nice to make your own homemade at home. Look how simple it is, and I'm sure it's much more healthier. Let's add a little bit more of our blueberry puree into the mix. I'm going to add a little more of my organic pure maple syrup for sweetness. There it looks. There it goes. You see all the nice layers in there. And then I like to top mine off with coconut whipping cream. Look at that. It looks great. And then you pick whatever color straw you'd like just to make it a little fancy for yourself. So that was nice and easy. It takes under 15 minutes and it's ready to go. We will do another video on making puree over the stovetop so you can see there's a variety of two ways you can do it. And there we go. Thank you for spending time with me in my kitchen today. Now I have something for you. All you need to do is click in the link below so that you can try it and see what you think. See you at the next video.